Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Fruitchip and today I have some Gears of War 3 gameplay for you guys. I downloaded a beta yesterday. I, pr I have pre-ordered this game so that's why I got access to the beta. Uh -huh. And I'm having a blast with this game so far. I have been playing with a bunch of friends and we are just tearing this place up. And then what you're about to see in this video is some King of the Hill gameplay on the map Trash Ball. And if you don't know what King of the Hill is, it's basically like uh, domination in Call of Duty. You will have to lock down a certain area like you're seeing me doing now with my friends. And uh, you will actually have to be standing in the circle for a couple of seconds before you actually grab it. And then the... Um, points will start to tick in. You play best out of three rounds and every round goes to 170 points and um, I do prefer to play King of the Hill over a uh, team deathmatch just because I'm a more game objective oriented player. I like to be playing for the objective and um, well get some teamwork going on. I'm a, I'm a really sucker for that. So um, if you guys are having uh, access to the beta and want to have some fun, communicate in a party chat and all that good stuff, uh, go ahead and, uh, and uh, send me a private message or write me a comment below telling me that you want to play. Um, other than that, well, I'm, I'm not uh, such a beastie player when it comes to Gears of War. I almost didn't play the first game at all when it's come to multiplayer. And um, the following one, Gears of War 2, I played it um, a little bit, but I always preferred like Call of Duty and Killzone over Gears of War, even though I had fun. But I'm um, having a hard time seeing myself playing this game by my own and not in a party with friends and stuff like that. And um, just because I want, well, I don't want to end up in a team just by a bunch of randoms that don't want to really go for the objective. Uh, as I was saying, I'm a more um, game objective oriented player, that's what I like to do. So uh, I will probably just play this beta um, if I am ending up having some company. And um, well, um, since I'm not so beasty, I will just uh, try to play smart, use the environment, try to predict how the enemies will, will uh, act out and so on. And here you will see me pick out the assault rifle, the lancer, so to say, and just uh, try to pick them off in mid-range. Um, and um, I'm also getting a hang of the shotgun. Um, I've been trying to get some good game gameplay with it, and I think um, you guys will be pleased with um, with um, my shotgun gameplay further on in the second round of this King of the Hill game. And um, it takes a little while. Um, to get used to the controls, at least for me, um, I think this is um, has a pretty pretty high learning process, learning curve, so to say. But if you stick to it and just focus on having a good time, you will probably just get a hang of it in a couple of hours or so. And um, yeah, we are playing on the map Trash Ball, and I'm not really sure if you guys have noticed it so far, but in the middle of the map, there's this really big, um, well, I don't know, sure what I should call it, drone? Could I call it drone? Well, it's a TV with speakers and all that good stuff, you know, that kind of thing you, you can find on a, a sports area. Well, uh, once in a while, that thing will drop down a little bit. And when it does, you can shoot it down, and it's pretty cool <laughs> to do that, shoot the wires off it, and just see it fall down, and hopefully pop some skulls on the enemy teams. It's a really enjoyable thing to kill guys on. Um, I'm not really sure if that is going to happen in this game, gameplay, but um, yeah, moving on. As we're saying, it, it, it feels, at least to me, I'm, I'm such, um, such a Call of Duty player, I've been playing that for... And so many hours that it feels kind of kind of hard for me when it com comes to the control settings just to be switching between Call of Duty and um, Gears of War and the controls in Gears of War 3 are good but it takes a while to get a hang of it it feels a little bit more slow and you will have to actually move your hands at least for me I will have to move my hands uh, between the buttons and the d-pad and the joysticks uh, pretty much and I'm <laughs> almost getting a a cramp and um, some some uh, well my, my um, hands are aching and I played almost um, like two hours straight yesterday and I, I <laughs> and I'm not kidding I ended up getting um, ache in my hand if I can say so my hands were hurting 
but uh, I think that is just a thing that I will have to get used to, switching between the different weapons using the D-pad and so on. And what I like to do in uh, the beginning of every round in King of the Hill is to pick up my, I believe it's a smoke grenade, you will see me do it right here, and just throw it uh, in a way so that I'm probably ending up um, stunning some of the enemies. So um, by doing that, hopefully me, I can buy some time for me and my teammates to run into the first circle, grab it and get a good start of the round. And um, this ring can be, can be uh, pretty tricky to capture since it's really out, out in the open um, and it's all about teamwork really. Um, oh right here you will see me pick up the... Um, I think it's called mortar, yes it is. And you will see just here in a while what nasty work it does to people. I'm shooting a bunch of grenades up in the air and then we'll just fall down. I think I'll get a guy this time. And this gun, the mortar, oh there will, you will see the big thing fall down, <laughs> it's awesome. And the mortar is really useful when you play capture, uh, capture the hill, not the capture the hill, king of the hill, excuse me. Then you just can use it in such a way, um, oh I'm picking up a nice double kill here. And uh, then you can use it in such a way just to, to either way protect the circle or help your teammates to capture it while giving them air support so to say from the falling grenades. There we go. And if you are, are um, getting a last stand, uh, so to say, if you stand still and just the button mash on the A button, you will have a good chance on um, getting up on your feet again. So don't don't think you are out just because you are downed. Um, just button mash or wait for one of the teammates to grab you up. And here I will go for an easy kill as well. And when you're playing with the shotgun, you will try to uh, well try to get as close as possible. Um, oh, I, I I have to say that I haven't been fiddling around with all the weapons too much. Right now I'm using the lancer and the regular shotgun. There's also this sawed-off shotgun, uh, which is uh, really really good in uh, close engagement. It's uh, pretty much always. Uh, one shot kill, but uh, the downside with that gun is uh, that it's really slow, it takes several seconds to reload it, you only have uh, one shot in the clip and um, stuff like that. So I will stick to the regular one, just spraying the hell out of the guys and if I end up getting really close, it's, uh, it's um, almost every time a two shot kill or even a one shot kill if you're able to get really really close up in there up in their ass <laughs> but uh, yeah guys um, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this um, would you like me to keep posting Gears of War 3 gameplay and um, would you like me to try to capture some specific things uh, let me know with a comment section below and if you like this kind of stuff I would really appreciate if you could let me get a thumbs up rating it really helps me out and here I'm going for another sweet uh, double kill and I gotta tell you guys, I really love the way um, the body sound. When you're killing a guy with a shotgun and the body is just exploding, it's blood, it's meat everywhere, you can just think this is a buffet. That is an awesome feeling, really. I'm not this really violent guy, but I like to play um, first person shooter games and third person shooter games like Gears of War and Uncharted. So. I'm having a blast, and that is a really th uh, nice thing. Gears of War is this really gore game really, it's blood everywhere, um, meat is rolling on the ground, dead bodies are just exploding, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I ended up getting a pretty good final score in this game with 7 caps, 16 kills and 6 down. And that is a pretty good score at least for me. But uh, anyways guys, I don't really have too much more to say so I will leave you with the rest of the video. So, but yeah guys, uh, this will be it for this commentary, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, have a lovely day, and I will smell you later.
satisfaction.